they will receive the same treatment they dished out. See, some people don't understand that nothing goes unseen in the kingdom of God. Nothing goes unheard in the kingdom of God. And nothing goes unnoticed. So everything that goes around always comes around. But because some people struggle with pride, some people struggle with ego, they just didn't want to get it. Not because it didn't make sense. Not because they haven't heard it and seen it over and over and time and time again. But because they were so focused on destroying you and taking you down that they didn't feel like knowledge really mattered at all. Right? They didn't really feel like they had to listen to any type of wisdom or make any type of sense because they were in such a jealous rage when it came to you. And now they're starting to see that slowly but surely, everything that goes around comes around. You treat others how you want to be retreated. You treat others how you want to, you know, receive that exact same treatment, right? You treat others how you want people to treat your family, right? You never sit up there and disrespect people. You never sit up there and conjure up people and conjure up spirits to destroy people, right? It's never that serious. And that's the thing about you, chosen ones. That's why you have made it this far. That's why you have overcame everything that you needed to overcame. And this is why God didn't let these weird attacks destroy you. He let it strengthen you. And now people walk around looking foolish because the same thing that they conjured up to come up against you, they're now dealing with, right? The same thing that they conjured up to make you suffer, they're now suffering with, right? So now people learn the hard way as far as you get what you give. And it's really not rocket science. And because you have mastered this early on, you have these evil problems and just miscellaneous problems to where you get so bored you want to destroy others. Guess what? You get to win, right? You get to prosper. You get to build. They get to watch. They get to lose. They get to continue to hate until they repent. And God is not only urging them, but everybody as a whole to repent because nobody is perfect. But as long as you make sure that you're doing your best, right, that you're staying prayed up and that you repent morning and night throughout the day, asking them, hey, Lord, I repent for all my sins, known and unknown, and anything that may have, you know, stuck out to you, specifically chosen ones. Bring that to him and allow him to fill you with that peace because this is why you have avoided all the negative, weird attacks and these people have fell into them. This is why you're you and they're them, right? This is why they wake up in a tough position every day that they made for themselves, thinking that they can get away with something, trying to be sneaky. Grown-ups, but they're sneaky. Why are you sneaking around if you're a grown-up, <laughs> right? Be a man, be a woman, have some type of character because these people want to be so sneaky. Now they get to get the results of a sneaky person. Loneliness, <laughs> strife, right? Divorce, right? Abandonment, sadness. A lot of these people will never be able to dig deep and feel true happiness. They'll never be able to dig deep and feel that everlasting love that you feel because they were so focused on trying to steal it from you, right? They were so focused on being in your business versus minding their own business. And now they don't have any business to mind because everything that they're touching is failing. Everything that they experience is sadness. Everything that you experience is blessing because God saw things that you may have not even thought that he saw because it was so shady and so low key and it made you feel like you didn't have anybody to talk to but now you're going to see that he saw everything he wrote it down jotted it down and now these people are answering for their actions and their decisions right now these people are getting to see what it feels like to have people all up in their business right weird behavior all around them they're peeking out the window don't want to come outside they're scary. See, you weren't scary. 
you're going to come outside regardless. You're going to do what you need to do. They are scary. So now they're seeing the same treatment that they put in your direction. They can't even take it. The same treatment that they wanted you to have, they're not even strong enough to receive. Why? Because instead of building up that strength, they were too focused on somebody else. Instead of building up that strength, they were too focused on all of their buddies grouped up. Nothing without the group. Huh? Always need a shoulder to not just cry on in a way to where, you know, you need somebody to be there for you, but a shoulder to gossip on, right? A shoulder to throw negativity on, a shoulder to lean on to where they could all come up against the positive people because they know they're negative and they know because they're negative that they're struggling because of it. Because you have to vibrate at a certain level to attract anything good. You have to feel good to attract good. <laughs> Stop me when I'm lying. You have to feel good to attract good. You walk out the house feeling good. Doesn't matter what position you're in. You're going to attract good, right? Walk out the house happy. Don't be surprised if you bounce into some people or bump into some people to where you guys are laughing, joking, having a good conversation. God uses people to bless you. God uses people to, you know, uh, attract things into your life that you would have never expected because you're like, wow, I'm feeling good. What a great day. But the same goes for negative energy. Same way positive energy can snowball upward and just be super great and uh, happy, successful, joyful. Negative energy can too. And they chose to take the negative path. They chose to take this path because they're lazy. They chose to take this path because they don't have what it takes to dig deep and deal with certain feelings that they're feeling, certain emotions that they're feeling, bring in different things that they struggle with directly to the Lord Jesus directly to the most high God where they could get help. They didn't want help. But now that they're receiving everything that they've dished out, now they want to try to call out to Lord Jesus, right? Now they want to try to change their ways. Not to where they're actually changing their ways, but to where they could look like it because they're still doing the same foolish behavior, even though their life is crumbling, even though everything that they touch is failing, even though all the warnings that you have given and told these people have came in true. They've all came true. Nothing has ever failed because the God that we serve never fails. No word that leaves his mouth returns void. And this is facts. He doesn't work on the time scale like us because he created time, right? So it may seem like it's a delay. It may have seemed like you had to go through a lot of things, but guess what? The success is going to be the opposite of delay. It's going to be stable, right? It's going to be long lasting, everlasting, because you went through what you had to go through to deserve it, right? Sometimes the pain may have felt like it was what? Long lasting, everlasting, but it wasn't. And he gave you energy, he gave you words, he gave you nourishment to tell you, hey, keep pushing, keep going. And that's exactly what you did. That's exactly what you listened to. And now you get to receive the fruits of your labor. You get to receive the fruit from the seeds that you have sown in good soil because you serve Lord Jesus. And these people get to receive nothing because they planted bitter seeds and nothing grew, right? They planted bitter fruit. And now they're basically chewing on blackberry bushes without the blackberries, just the porcupines. <laughs> That's how they wake up feeling every day. Like they're chewing on blackberry bushes with no blackberries, baby. <laughs> Why? Because they're hard headed. They're ignorant. And they chose to be evil. Nobody's perfect. That's why I told you, hey, if you have anything going on emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, Go ahead and just repent and put that in God's hands. Take that burden off of you because even I'm not too prideful to say we're not perfect. Just because I have a ministry and just because I help people doesn't mean that I don't have to repent as well. We all have to repent. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not a do as I say, not as I do type of person. So I'm going to lead in the right direction. And that direction is straight to the kingdom of God, straight to the kingdom of heaven. So just keep pushing, keep enduring. Knowing that nothing went unnoticed, right? 
nothing's going to go unchecked. You're loved. You're appreciated. And God is paying so much attention to you because your purpose is so big. So just keep pushing. If you know God is going to fight all of your battles and continue to humble your enemies and work on your behalf, don't you be afraid to hop down there in that comment section and say, nothing goes unnoticed in the kingdom of God. Everything in the dark comes to the light. Jesus might need my prayer. Make sure you guys hop down there, join that membership program. Make sure you guys hop down there, like this thing up, share this thing up, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell button to be keeping the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys on the next one.